little yard update. So this is the original banana tree that we planted. You can see she actually made some bananas, but they're ridiculously small. We'll see how that goes. And then we have her offspring, a much larger banana tree. So we'll see what kind of bananas she makes. And then we have one, two, three little babies. There were four, and we planted it right, right there. And then the starfruit tree has really exploded this year. It's like at least eight or nine feet tall now. It's blooming, but we don't have any fruit yet. Here we have some kitty kitty flowers. No flowers right now, though. The Olena, which is turmeric. See, it's blooming right now. Baby banana, kaffir lime tree, taro patch, orange tree, doesn't want to grow. Keter, he's full grown. Peanut button. Peanut button. We're getting viva every day. Peanut button. Lemon tree doesn't want to grow. We have our Cuban red. The original tree um, kind of mysteriously died, but it put out these two cakeys, so we're happy about that. And we have a variegated banana tree. And over here we have the nice big gardenia. And then here we have the picake, which is my favorite tropical flower of all time. Can you focus? There we go. Oh my god, it smells so good. It's my favorite perfume too. We have a Suriname cherry tree. Well, Suriname cherry bush. Then here's the compost, which is currently growing a shit ton of pumpkins. Because we composted a pumpkin. And here's the Mami Sapote tree that I started from seed two years ago. And then we planted it last year, and this year it's grown about two feet. Have the other seedlings. Have some comfrey, mountain apple, more mammies, papaya. We got some chico seeds out the back. Our papaya tree. This is a volunteer avocado tree from the compost. I still don't know what we're gonna do with it, but um, I don't know. We'll see what happens. We have some more taro that we just never really got around to harvesting. Have the year old. Um, white pineapples that I planted. They're still doing really well, but they're a bit overcrowded. Have a second papaya tree. Got some fruit on it. Then um, a tiny little aloe baby that'll get bigger. Then more white pineapples. All over here. Some more taro and weeds that we gotta um, we gotta replant these with something else. Then I have a um, green papaya salad kind of papaya tree right here, and more aloe with some babies that I'll um, replant here soon. Here we have the mountain apple tree. Now I started this from seed um, about a year ago, yeah, and they were really yummy mountain apples. And I read that if you have a really yummy mountain apple that you should um, save the seed and sprout it because that'll make a good tree. So I have like three trees now. This is the one that we planted on this property. We'll see what we do with the other two. Just a little protected from Keter as it starts to grow. Got a baby branch, all the baby leaves. We decided to put this fence to use. We planted some lilacoys. This vine isn't as healthy as the other one, probably because the roots are getting compressed by cars driving on either side. But this one, this one doesn't have that root compression. So it's going crazy. And it's bloomed a lot, but it hasn't made a lot of fruit. And I don't know why, but it still has a few fruits. There's that big one. Here it is. Ooh, ooh, it's starting to turn yellow. 